Yes, there's no way you would do zoning that some people will not be shut out against their own ways or wishes. Oh. For me, well, we might say because, because of uh, the level of our development politically, I said, okay, let's move it here and there. But for me, I don't believe in zoning. That does not mean that it doesn't have its own merit. But globally, globally speaking, you know, on, the, on the global scale, I think the demerits are more than the merits. What I think is important is for Nigerians. In, in plain terms now, what would, would you call the demerits of zoning? I said it earlier. Automatically, it will preclude a section of the country and okay. some people. And I don't think that is fair enough. If my aspiration is to be the president of Nigeria and suddenly somehow my party says my region cannot buy for that position, I am technically shut out. The reason I ask that question is that the idea behind rotational precedence is so that it goes round every zone what in the country. What is the advantage if it goes round? And what is the disadvantage if it doesn't go round? I think the bottom line is because we have raised nepotism to the very highest point in our politics and policy as it were. Uh, Nigerians now believe that, okay, let me also take my turn. Uh -huh. What we need is good governance. If we have good governance, the system is working, nobody will bother where the president comes from. It will be, okay, what I, what I need is what I'm getting. So why do I, is it that your brother is there does not mean that he will perform better than another person. But you know that if your brother is there, there is every tendency that will be closer to government than when somebody else is there. So I see it as people viewing it from a very narrow prison. And okay, if a Yoruba man is president, then it is most likely that I will be closer to power than when an Igbo man is president. And I don't think that is what we actually need. Okay, I think a lot of leaders within the APC, for instance, uh, have contrary opinions. For instance, um, Understood Governor Laurie Macredo recently sent a very strong message to the APC leadership when he said that it's either the South or nothing else. And he even went ahead to say that Right about now, the APC leadership should come out to make its position, its stance known on where this um, presidency ticket will be zoned to. Uh, Mr. Arusi, Arusi Mugunle, do you think zoning should be the major bone of contention here? Uh, it's unfortunate that uh, um, you cannot grow more than your age and you cannot own more than our capacity. Mm. Our country, our democracy, the way it is for now, unfortunately, it cannot accommodate uh, what I call uh, academic discussion on one on what democracy and good governance should be. Ordinarily, uh, leadership at the presidency level should be about capacity, should be about who can do it well. But the, our narrative now has diminished that argument. It has elevated nepotism. It has elevated ethnicity. Two things are very dangerous to our national politics. That is religion and ethnicity. Mm. The two of them define who gets what within the national space. And that is why we are here. So that's why every other person is talking about their region, is talking about their zone. There has to be a turning point. So, uh, uh, there has to be a turning point. Yes, I agree with you, there has to be a turning point. But unfortunately, unfortunately, uh, the issue of South and North rotational presidency is on the table. The two major political parties are talking about it. So if that is what our cap the capacity of our democracy can carry for now, why don't we just do it until that a time that the system will be able to accommodate the debates on what democracy and good governance is all about?